Hello folks, welcome to this video. Um, I thought it was about time I ought to get and post another one up on YouTube uh, regarding alternators. So I thought I'd take advantage of um, a couple of flywheel modifications that I do. Now these are for the Kajiva Canyon uh, 500-600 W16 flywheels. Um, the the ones with the part numbers uh, FP8315, FP8313 and FP8316. Now this modification can also be done to the Husqvarna rotors made by the same company Kukusan Denki. Um, and that one's with a part number F yeah. I just said that, 8316. Didn't I say that? Oh 8316. But because we can supply brand new replacement rotors for the, for those bikes, there's really no need to actually um, uh, do a modification on those because you can just buy a complete rotor aftermarket one at paper. Right. Right, so yeah. Uh, you're probably watching this video because you may have a bike like it. And the common problem with those is the rotors the magnets inside the rotors break up, fall apart and start uh, playing with your ignition and your charging and all that sort of thing and sometimes it can also mash up the generator assembly but anyway this video is going to show you how I do it whether you want to do it, copy this or do it that way or your own way that's entirely up to you so yeah, as you can see, this is one uh, of the Kajiva models. It's an FP8313. Um, you see the magnets are broken it. Common problem. And obviously that Husqvarna one did exactly the same. Like this. You can supply new replacement um, rotors for those. Um, this is one I've just machined down and fitted the new one-piece magnet ring into. Same, it's the same model as that. So, what I do is I manufacture a steel ring. Because the new magnet rings are a lot smaller in diameter than the original magnets, you get four of these, of the original ones, because they're a lot, uh, uh, the, the diameter is a lot smaller. I manufacture, uh, I don't know, uh, a ring insert to go in there in the flywheel and then it's the machine once again to accept this one piece magnet ring uh, so what I do is I machine then the flywheel well remove the old magnets I mean this one you can see the actual magnets have actually completely fallen out um, I remove them clean it all up and set it all up in the machine so that's exactly what I'm going to show you how I do it and if you want to do it you can copy what I do or diverse if you like so yeah as you can see that steel ring is fitted inside that flywheel rotor is then machined down to accept that new magnet ring um, there is a specific position and way around that magnet ring has got to be fitted I'll go into that a bit later in the video um, these magnet rings, uh, the magnet ring is actually bonded inside the steel ring that's been inserted and the inserted steel ring is an interference fit with the inside diameter of the machined flywheel. So without further ado, we'll get down in the workshop and uh, show you how we do it. I'm not going to show you how done that one because I'm going to show you how I did that one because I've already done it on video and I'm not going to do it twice. There's no need for it. However, if I make some cock-ups, um, I don't know. Let's see how it goes. But the trouble with all these things, one thing I will say is make sure if you ever do remove the flywheel, use a proper flywheel puller on the thread. I can see the thread is actually mullered on that, so I don't know what, what they did to do that. Because if you put a three-legged puller, it starts bending and twisting it, and you know, I've, it's difficult to get it trued up in 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 the lathe. Um, fortunately, there's a little bit of tolerance between the magnet ring and the stator on those, um, so uh, 
yeah just use the correct puller to get these off I'll probably go into that a little bit more later on after I've done it when I come back in after I've done that one um, I'll show you how we bond, bond them in uh, it's pretty straightforward and um, what to do with that as well okay well I'll get down in the workshop which I've already done and um, show you how I do it adios There's no food for you.
Yeah, but it don't look like the girly thing when I'm doing that. Let's break that. Let's break that. Well, I've always been interested in it, and I did a, a master's in it a few years ago, mm -hmm. and I just thought the way the brain works and the way we can change our thinking habits, and sometimes those negative things that we think about ourselves, the scripts that we often carry with us from when we're children into adulthood, that we can actually change that and feel better by thinking differently. I just think that is absolutely fascinating. And then I got breast cancer, and I was still working, uh, so I took a bit of time. Right, we can do the rest of the uh, work in the office, although it might be a bit messy, but so first thing we do use some degreaser. And make sure that's thoroughly degreased on the inside. So the outside of that. Right, so I've got some epoxy. JB Wild is good, high temperature stuff. But I've got this JB Wild, not the quick version. But I'm not using this, so I'm using someone else. I've got buckets of it, some industrial stuff. But that JB Wild is, I've used it before and I've no problems at all. Okay, so I've just mixed up a bit and I'll uh, crack on with that. Right, so at this stage it's good to wear gloves. Because it does get rather messy, or it can do. I shouldn't really be doing it in my office, but there you go. Um, okay, so I've mixed up my uh, epoxy. Uh, looks like a bit like a nasty turd, but there you go. Use an old kitchen knife and then just spread it evenly, thin layer around the inner circumference. If you can see that, you get a nice little spread on it. So I probably made up far too much epoxy, but like I said, I've got bucket loads of it. Right, so that's uh, quite evenly coated there. And do the same on the outside of the ring. Now this is where it starts to get a bit messy. Okay, so we got a right load over it 
and on the inside of the flywheel. Right now, this is important. On the ring, there's a notch on one side. There's a little cut out notch. Now that has got to line up with the A mark on the flywheel and I'll show you that in a minute. So let's uh, insert and it's got to be face the, the notch has got to be facing outwards. So let's put that in there next to the A mark. You can twist it a little bit as long as the, the ring hasn't been made too tight or the flywheel inner machine hasn't been made too tight and just slowly push it down in sorry I'm in the way there a lot of it squidge out push that down so it's flush this is like I said it gets bloody messy this does Let's scoop some of that shit off of there push it down in careful not to push it too far What I'll do is I'll go back down in the workshop and wipe all that residue off. Now what I use is acetone, which is the best remover for that. If you haven't got any, go and pitch the Mrs. Nail Varnish remover. That's the same kind of stuff. But yeah, that's in there now. And that notch there is lined up with the line. I've got to get it in the camera, Rog. That notch in the flywheel uh, magnet ring is lined up with the A mark. Now that's quite important because it's all to do with the, you know, the north-south poles crossing at the right time. So uh, yeah, I'll go and clean all that muck off. You don't need to see me there doing you go. that. That's in there. Um, like I say, that uh, there you go. little notch there. Is lined up with the A mark, not the T mark, or the B mark, or whatever other mark. It's got me lined up with the A mark. Um, so now, what you want to do? Get yourself a little, some 13 mil, or any any nut really, and just press them into that little recess there. And the reason for that, because I made the mistake once. Of leaving it overnight and the magnet moved so I'm put one there put one there and put one there if you put it halfway between the magnet it won't try and pull itself in so there there and there And then leave it stood on the nuts like that until it sets. Otherwise, if you don't, I've come out before and the magnet is dropped out of the steel ring. So, yeah, that's got to be left for I don't know 24 hours, or whatever, for it to set. So, it should be good to go. Right, okay folks, the following day and um, <clears throat> both these flywheels are actually finished now, the epoxy's set and they're ready to go back to the customer, one's got to go to some guy in uh, the UK, I think that one's got to go to some fellow in France, um, so yeah we'll get them shipped out shortly. Right, so just recap on one or two bits and pieces. These steel rings are um, the outside diameter um, they're machined to 123 millimeters uh, outside diameter, and the, 
the depth of them is 25 millimeters, which is the same depth as what these magnet rings are. Um, they're machined to 123 mil to allow for minimal machining of the, the original flywheel. I may modify that at a later date, but it, it doesn't matter at the moment. Um, I might go out slightly bigger on that, I don't know yet. But generally 123 mil. Now I work in metric and imperial. When it comes into small sizes, I like to work in thousandths of an inch rather than hundredths of a millimeter. Okay, so um, when like I said, these are 123 mil. What you need to do is you need to measure them with a micrometer or a vernier and get the exact dimension of that. Like I said, about 123 mil, whatever that equates to in thousandths of an inch. Uh, inches and thousands since I can't read off the top of my head but anyway measure it and then you bore the inside of this flywheel in the lathe to six to eight thousand what's well, the way I do it is to bore it six to eight thousandths of an inch smaller than the outside diameter of that so when that's heated up that will ins insert into there it will expand and contract and it will basically shrink itself in there um, and you also need to bore that from the outside face to a depth of 26 millimeters, which is one millimeter more than the 25 millimeter that that is. So basically, when you fit it in there, it actually sits one millimeter below the face of the outside of the the, the flywheel rotor, um, which is about the approximate position of where the original magnets were positioned in the first place. Um, so that's what I've done. That's how that's come to machine to those sizes. <coughs> Okie doke. Right. Um, generally, I heat these up to about 200, just above 200 degrees, to give yourself enough expansion on it to allow this ring to fit. When fitting it, always try and get it in the first. Well, you have to get it in the first place because if it gets stuck halfway, uh, then it can. Uh, create all havoc. I've had one stuck halfway, got it wrong, and I've had to machine the whole thing back out again, which was a complete pain in the butt. Like it didn't damage the flywheel, I just had to go through the whole process again. Um, shortly after it's actually inserted, um, expanded and contracted, and that's actually in there solid, just put a couple of tack welds in the holes, just to add extra peace of mind and a bit of extra reinforcement. I don't think it's necessary, but I do that just to uh, uh, make me feel a bit happier about it. Uh, this is a slide fit. Once this is machined down, measure the outside diameter of that, then machine the inner ring that's been inserted just so that's a slide fit into it, and so it's fit flush with the outside edge. And the cutout notch is in line with the A mark. Yeah, the A mark line on there, not the T or the any other marks, the A mark line on that, which I think is what they call the advance. The T is top dead centre, and that's a, like I said, it's halfway between the north and south poles. Um, this kit, uh, I don't know, I'm looking up for some machinery, CNC machinery, so let's go back to here. Yeah, I think I mentioned it, it does the FP8316, which is the Kajiba one, and the other one it does, I've done one before, is the FP. 8310 which I think might be off a 350 model actually <coughs> and I've also done them on an RG250 Suzuki um, they use a similar magnet system in them the only problem with that you can't really machine the flywheel down to accept the ring you have to get the magnets out and measure the inside of the original rotor and then make a steel ring to fit the inside of that because there's um, on the RG250, Suzuki RG250, they've got uh, little raised magnets on either side and you don't want to go machining the flywheel. Um, so I did one like that and that turned out quite successful. Right, when your magnets break up on them, it can cause damage to your rotor. Um, I've seen far worse than this. In fact, I have got one somewhere that's far worse than that. Um, I can salvage them to a certain degree, but if they're twisted and bent, then it's in the bin. <coughs> so 
So yeah, job done, or jobs done, done the pair of them. I thought I'd get both of them out of the way at the same time while everything, you know, working on the lathe and all that, I'm trying to kill two birds or two flywheels with one stone, as they say. Um, so yeah, we do the kit available on our website, bbbikeshop.co.uk, or you can send us your flywheel and we'll do it for you and do the whole modification. I've done a fair few dozen of these now, touch wood with a 100% uh, success rate. I will admit it does add an extra little bit of uh, weight to the original flywheel, not a lot, because the actual magnet ring is a lot lighter than the original magnets. So it was a bit of a compromise between one and two, but because you're putting a steel ring in there, it does add a tiny bit of weight to it. Although on a big old thumper single, it doesn't matter that much. So yeah, um, I think that's about it. If you've got any questions, just pop me an email. Um, and if you want a kit, you know, uh, one of these, one of these, and um, we got them on the shelves ready to go. And um, so yeah. Feel free to have a go with it yourself, be it on your head. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Anyway, cut to the chase again. Thanks very much for watching, and uh, I'll endeavour to get uh, another video up somewhere soon. So take it easy. Bye bye for now.